Howdy everybody, welcome back to the shop, I'm Dave. Alright, uh, hopefully the next video, not hopefully, the next video will be back on track showing some machining and things going on. Um, I am in touch with Cobra Carbide, really nice gentleman in inside sales. And he uh, is happy to send down um, some various inserts that I'll be trying and showing the results and some end mills here that, oh, that reduce chatter. So when that package comes, look forward to the next video. Uh, next thing up is I'm going to show um, a viewer appreciation package that arrived. It's from Don Brandt and um, I subscribe to his channel. I love his channel. There was um, another YouTube video. I forgot what the guy's name was, but it was something about random. Now Don's channel I think is about as random as you can get, which is why I love his stuff. I mean, the first thing you know, he's showing a video of a speedboat on fire on the Mississippi River. And next he's showing how he's repairing a electric uh, jack to a boat hitch. And the next thing, he's showing how to barbecue and cut the tip of his thumb off to showing making little modules for a laser shelf. So, <laughs> next up, I guess I'll show uh, opening up this uh, viewer appreciation. I'm not sure what's in it. I kind of suspect one item that's going to be in there, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, look forward to the next video. All right, Dawn, surprise package showed up at the doorstep. And I hope it's not fragile, because it didn't make it. <laughs> I guess that's packing material. New scalpel. All right, we'll use it here, if I don't cut myself open doing it. All right. I've got an audience my wife is watching. Hey. Silent audience. Silent audience, okay. <laughs> hey, all right. Surprised the mailman actually rang the doorbell. Usually they leave it there. Uh oh. What's this? Not from Amazon Junkie. Look, bubble packaging. Yeah, really. I've seen this before. This is used material you're sending me. Oh, I gotta tilt the camera, make sure I can see. Yeah, okay, everything's in view. Uh, not from Amazon Junkie. Okay. What a, holy cow. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to send this. More Legos. Oh, I like Legos. Oh, here. You want some Legos? Yeah, I want the Legos. Welcome to the Happy Hands Club. Because I had made on um, one of my videos, I didn't want to go and try this or whatever, spend the money, so I made a single one to hold wire. So this goes in the new bench. That's cool. Thanks, Don. <laughs> Happy hands. We gotta send it. him a picture of our Lego collection. Oh great, we got a cowbell. Ah, hey, that's cool. <laughs> oh, he's wrapped. It's like a ding, huh? Go. I always wanted a cowbell. <laughs> Look, it'll go. Oh, the cows are coming. <laughs> no, perfect up there on the mantle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be cool. Ding, ding, ding. Jesus. Dinner time. Loud thing. Loud thing. Uh oh, something small. What is this? Magnet bit holder. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to try one of those. That'll come in handy. You put your uh, Phillips bits and stuff and then put it in the drill. And uh, screw away, I guess. New. It's new. Uh, Warrior? Made by Warrior. I know what this is. <laughs> These are nice. Oh, this is nice and bright, too. Handkerchief? Oh, this would be great for cleaning my glasses. Now I, I got to keep that in the garage. That'll be cool. And this looks wicked. All right, is this for something specific? Ooh. Impact, <laughs> three quarter inch drivers. This has got to be for something. Wait a minute. Oh, it's extenders. Oh, cool, impact extenders. That is nice, that'll come in handy, definitely. There's a lot of times where I need to extend stuff out. And, oh boy, little packages. 
Do I need the scalpel? Yeah, so I'm going to open it. Oh, I can get it, but I'm cutting myself. Where do you slice it? Oh, slice through everything. <laughs> All the wrapping, all of it. I think it's too dangerous. Let's go back to my razor blade. Oh, wow. All right, this is interesting. A battery charger for what size battery is that? That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, can you tell? It doesn't expand. Oh, it shrinks down, but. Yeah, I can't read it. Pass qualification check. Product and It's a charger though, because it's got AC on it. Lithium ion. This could be cool. I gotta figure out what I gotta put in it though. Ah. Dude, that's nice. And the plug's in the right way. It's not like a stupid thing plugs in that way and eats up all the other sockets. <laughs> One man's garbage is another person's un-garbage? <laughs> okay, oh, eye protection, so now I can do some of your, what, English humor. <laughs> oh, these are pretty nice, too. These are skinny. I like that. Oh, I can definitely hang with this. Definitely hang with that. All right, that, that's perfect. I like that. I like, like that. A, like a uh, fly. Now I'm not sure what note came off of what. There's something here. What's this? Repaying the favor? What is it? I hope this was what the note was on. These are cool though. You gave me, what, a bunch of them for Christmas and I gave them to Nick and now they're gone. I wish I would have kept them. Come on, release. Alright, how do you release it? It's one way only. Oh, go that way, right? Alright, i got to figure that out. <laughs> there it goes. You push it in. That comes in good for woodworking and a bunch of stuff. What does that do? Oops. Pushing it again. In there. Need some grease. That does something though. Oh, it just tightens the whole thing down. Interesting. That comes in handy. I like that. I like that. That must have been for that, I hope. Oh, now here's the clamp note for it. <laughs> So this repaying the favor came with something else. Ah, uh -huh. More Torx. Oh yeah, it's Torx, the T1520. And an angle guy too. Oh, definitely. We're left. Pittsburgh, yay. They make some really good stuff. Uh, surprise Harbor Freight, but that will come in handy. There's a few times I need to do that at a 90 degree. Perfect, perfect. And there's a key in here. Oh, I think it's a knife. It's a knife. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, really. In a key. I guess you put it on your keychain. That is neat. Wherever you got that, that's cool. I like that. Ah, super glue. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Get on hands. Really? <laughs> Where's the top? I gotta search through here, find the top. Top came off someplace. That's in here. I'm one sure time. it is. Yeah, because he put did a video and warned me about Loctites. Loctites jam up, and this is the ones that he buys, and they stay open or whatever. All right, I'm gonna dig to the top a little bit here. What else do we have? Something heavy, something tubular. Oh shit! A laser. <laughs> Can't use those words, but it just did. Yo. This is like Star Wars here. Does it go? No. Push the button, nothing happened. Oh, I probably have to pull something out to get it activated. Nice. And a key. A laser with a key. Something tells me this is pretty powerful. No laser comes with a key. I'm going to have to look this up and see. Still nothing. Uh, this unlocks it or something? Yeah, it unlocks it or something. Laser 303. I have a feeling this has got a lot of power to it. This is what he was doing in his laser light show. Alright, gotta figure that one out. 
But that is awesome, man. And the way this thing is built, I'm feeling this focuses or something. Let's see, that is really a nice gift. Big time. I don't want to put it down on the face, but. And, ah, oh, not a scalpel. Yeah, whole set. Yeah. Whole set of them. Excellent. Because I'm running out of some of these other blades, too. Ah. Oh, jeez, and look at this. Whoa. Awesome. Holy cow. More stuff to cut myself with. <laughs> I haven't done enough. And you can that bring your cool. skin back together with the super glue. Yeah, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Cut myself in that super glue it close. Whoa, this is going to be really handy. Especially with the big handle. There's some pretty tough stuff I've got to cut. Oh, that's a nice hole. That's a nice size, too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That is definitely handy. And everything's starting to pile up here. Too much stuff. It's like Christmas. Yeah, really. It's Christmas time. Caution. Lithium ion batteries. I have a feeling this might be the batteries that goes in the charger. Hold on. Where the scalpel? There it is. Carry. Put my eye protection on so I can open it up. Cut it here carefully. I'm going to make a lousy surge and then cut the guy open too far. Oops! Cut right through his organ. Yeah, I'm opening this up inside because it's too doggone hot outside. Yep, there's a lithium ion battery. Where does it go to there, Don? This has got to go to something. And the voltmeter. A digital voltmeter! Yay. Oh, there's a ring here. I've got to find the cap. Oh, there's another. Oh, here's the cap. And the ring. That goes to the super glue. So we found all the parts and pieces. Ta da! Oh, the ring probably keeps it from penetrating, right? Oh, open up the wrong side. Ding ding. Yeah, you take the ring off and then it penetrates the super glue and opens it. I think. Yeah, it does. Excellent, excellent. I'm ready to test that out. But what does the battery go? There, what, where there's smoke, there's <laughs> wires, yeah. <laughs> I love these guys. Ah, can't open it. Ah, Alright, well, I know what that is anyway. So, cool down. Whoa, this has got something. Oh, an NPN and a PNP, a transistor tester. Minter base collector. That is new. Can't reach through there and get the on off go. I have to open that up and try this guy out. Goes all the way up to what? DC amps. 10? Holy cow. That goes pretty high. 1,000 volts. Nope, we're not playing with that. <laughs> Alright, and my wife gets a whole bunch of Legos to play with. What are you going to build? I'm going to add them to our collection. Uh huh, okay. <laughs> Make a house or something. These things are cool, and I love playing with them myself. All right, Don. Thank you. You'll see this coming up here in a few videos because I've got some things I got to do where I need to hold it. So cool. Ah, when it cools down, I'll post the video. All right, back outside in the bloody heat. <laughs> All right, I figured out why when I push the button, nothing happens. There's no battery. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, light bulb goes on. <laughs> battery, battery charger. <laughs> okay, figured that out. These things are crazy though. 2,500 milliamp hours. I could build, pull two and a half amps out of this battery for an hour. Yeah. That is nuts. Lithium ion. Well, it says lithium NN. I don't know what that means, but it's got to be a lithium ion or something. These things are really changed. I don't know why it says 35 amps. What does it say? Discharge current 35 amps. Wow. You can search a car with this thing. 
So, um, checked it out with the voltmeter and it looks like it's charged up. So this guy, and then fig hey, figured out that it's a switch. It got a nice little red dot, green dot. So cool, on and off, but nothing happened. I'm trying to figure out which way to put the battery in here, and I think the positive goes to the outside edge because there's a spring down in there. Here, watch me get my fingers stuck in there. But the way they've done this, there's a this is the switch contacts, and there's a little piece of plastic poking up that refuses to let this go far enough down that the battery can contact this guy. It does work, put voltmeter across it and I got a beep when you turn on off. So minor modification and this will be a really cool laser. I've seen this one work. Don's got this guy. And looking down in there at the actual element, bet you this guy is pretty linear. That is pretty wild looking down there. So this, I can't wait to get this guy up and running. The other thing is unpackaging this guy. It's pretty stable. This is pretty cool, you know, really. Everything moves, everything stays put. Well done. Actually, easy, all right? I haven't messed with any of this stuff. Oh yeah, easy to do, easy to turn. Oh, what's the magnification? <laughs> I can read my battery. It is. Oh yeah, it's a good magnification. It's about 3x. Yep. This is about. Actually, does it say on the package what it is? Uh. Okay. Here we go. It's a magnifying glass. Huh? Pain, pain getting old. Let me tell you. It doesn't say there. Stable base handheld eyes to you. Doesn't say oh, what it is, but pretty nice. And I can actually use the super glue and make this on a bigger base if I want. Piece of wood or something. Uh, and I've got the bench space for it to store it up above. So this is going to come in pretty handy. I like how they built this thing. Nice. Might get rid of the magnifying glass. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, twist it. Oh, I guess this goes this way. This goes this way. Now you can tilt it up and down. But cool, Don. This is going to be fun. All right, let me get this laser working. I just was checking this out. I got to read it. There's a caution here. And it says to prevent injury. So this, this thing can injure you, I guess, somehow. <laughs> Wear ANSI approved safety goggles during use. Well, Don, thanks. You gave me the goggles so I can wear them when I'm using that in case it wants to leap up in my eyes. Place on flat, stable surface. Really. Read manual of soldering gun used with stand. Okay. <laughs> Do not use under direct sunlight. Oh, I guess it's the magnifying glass. You can wind up melting your solder with the, with the magnifying glass when the sun hits it. Inspect before every use. Do not use if parts loose or damaged. Use as intended only. How is it intended? <laughs> then say, there's no manual. Keep away from children. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I guess the magnifying glass is the only dangerous thing. You can put that out in the sun and you can probably do some eye damage if you do something. Yeah, <laughs> hold it up and let's look at the sun and magnify it. That would do a number on your eyes. All right, I had to read this caution. I thought it was hilarious. I'm going to check this thing out. I haven't opened it up yet, but let's see what this is. There's a lot of people dog harbor freight, but there's some stuff that just really is I like that. <laughs> right angle or left. This is a left angle. <laughs> if you're left-handed, I guess it's a left angle. But, ooh, it's, well, it's definitely heavy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, nice. Uh, I'm going to ratchet to boot. Excellent. And this is probably reversing. Yep. Definitely nice. Just put a little grease down in there. But the one thing I never did bring up in any of my videos. Yeah, these are nice. This is going to come in really handy. Let me tell you. Let me bring this other guy out, though. And I have used this over and over again. This uh, this is Harbor Freight. 
and it's not that expensive. I think it was ten bucks or something. But this is every single bit, all the security bits. And I even had to use this the other day. Where is it? Yeah, here's. I forgot what it was I was using, but there's normal Phillips, which has the four points. These have three points. Oh, it's the power strip on the bench, the screw that they put in there. I had to remove, and it used that. So I had to use that for the first time. But you look at all of these things, and the holes in these things for Allen's. There's a, this. This kit is well, well worth the money. If there's anything that you have to take apart that needs a special security bit to take it apart, this does it. And the T's actually go way the heck down there. So go to Harbor Freight, get this kit. You will use it. So, all right, this is cool. Thanks, Don. All right.